What's going on, NASCAR fans? Tyler Digger 2020 Productions here. And last week, I covered the standings for the 2023 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. This week, I'm going to be covering the Xfinity Series standings. It's time we get this show on the road right now. Okay, so starting us off at number 12, he's had a pretty good season with six top 10s, one top 5, one stage win, one race win coming at Talladega, one DNF, and just 18 laps led. From Halifax, Virginia, driving the number 27 Jordan Anderson Racing Chevrolet with multiple sponsors, Jeb Burton. Up next at number 11, he is the 2020 Advance Auto Parts Weekly Series Champion. He's had a strong season with 18 top 10s, 11 top 5s, 3 stage wins, 3 poles coming at Pocono, Michigan, and Las Vegas, 3 DNFs, and 211 laps led. Also, he will be going full-time Cup Series racing next season. From Hendersonville, Tennessee, driving the number 8, Bass Pro Shops Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports, Josh Berry. Up next at number 10, not only does he compete in the Xfinity Series, he's also a pit reporter for NASCAR on NBC. He's had a good season with 18 top 10s, 8 top 5s, 1 stage win, 1 pole coming at Dover, 2 DNFs, and just 31 laps led. From Westport, Connecticut, driving the number 48, Big Machine Spiked Cooler Chevrolet for Big Machine Racing, Parker Kligerman. Up next at number 9, he is the 2021 Craftsman Truck Series Rookie of the Year. He's had a solid season with 13 top 10s, 8 top 5s, 2 stage wins, 1 race win coming at Richmond, 3 poles coming at Las Vegas, Atlanta, and Hampshire, seven DNFs, are you kidding me, and 318 laps led. From Talking Rock, Georgia, driving the number 16 quick tie Chevrolet for Colleague Racing, here's Chandler Smith. Up next at number eight, he is the 2021 Xfinity Series champion. He's had an okay season with 18 top 10s, six top fives, three DNFs, and just 57 laps led. And he, too, will be going full-time Cup Series racing next season. From Kannapolis, North Carolina, driving the number 10 Circle Chevrolet for Colleague Racing, Daniel Hemrick. Up next at number 7, he is the 2020 Craftsman Truck Series champion. He's had a good season with 15 top 10s, 7 top 5s, Four stage wins, one pole coming at Portland, two DNFs, and 190 laps led. From Alpine, California, driving the number two Whelan Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing, that's Sheldon Creed. We are halfway through, folks, so now we got to find out who our Sunoco Rookie of the Year is. So up next at number six, he is a two-time ARCA Menards Series East Champion. He's had an incredible rookie season with 15 top 10s, 6 top 5s, 2 stage wins, 1 race win coming at Phoenix, 3 poles coming at Atlanta, Martinsville, and Phoenix, 5 DNFs, and 334 laps led. And he will be joining Junior Motorsports next season. From Johnston, Iowa, driving the number 18 Pilot Flying J Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing, your 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series Rookie of the Year is Sammy Smith. Up next at number 5, he is the 2022 Xfinity Series Rookie of the Year, as well as your regular season champion. He's had an awesome season with 24 top 10s, 16 top 5s, 4 stage wins, 4 race wins coming at Daytona, Las Vegas, Atlanta, and Pocono. Four poles coming at both Daytona races, Auto Club, and Talladega. Three DNFs and 346 laps led. 
From Winston, Georgia, driving the number 21, Bennett Transportation Services Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing, that's Austin Hill. Up next at number 4, he's had, dare I say, an incredible season with 24 top 10s, 17 top 5s, 11 stage wins. Are you kidding me? Seven race wins coming at. Get ready, everybody. <clears throat> Auto Club, Martinsville, Atlanta, New Hampshire, Michigan, Kansas, and Texas. Woo! That was a lot of info, don't you think? Anyways, two poles coming at both Darlington races. Three DNFs and 1,083 laps led. And let's not forget, he too will be going full-time Cup Series racing next season. From Mooresville, North Carolina, driving the number 20 Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota with multiple sponsors, John Hunter Nemechek. Up next at number 3, he is also a two-time ARCA Menards Series East champ. He's had an amazing season with 19 top 10s, 13 top 5s, Four race wins coming at Road America, Watkins Glen, the Charlotte Motor Speedway Roval, and Homestead. One pole coming at the Charlotte Motor Speedway Roval. Seven DNFs. Again, are you kidding me? And 177 laps led. From Franklin, Wisconsin, driving the number one Accelerate Professional Talent Solutions Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. That is Sam Mayer. We're almost done, you guys. Up next at number two, he is the 2008 ARCA Menards Series Champion, as well as a three-time Xfinity Series Most Popular Driver. He's had an impressive season with 20 top 10s, 15 top 5s, 13 stage wins. Are you kidding me? Four race wins coming at Charlotte, Daytona, Bristol, and Martinsville. Uh, four poles coming at Richmond, uh, Charlotte, uh, Kansas, and Texas, I believe. Four DNFs and 643 laps led. From Riverton, Illinois, driving the number seven brand professional agriculture Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports, it's Justin Allgaier. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to reveal the 2023 Xfinity Series Champion. Here we go, boys. At number one, he is the 2020 Cup Series Rookie of the Year. Man, I wish he were back in that series, don't you think? He's had a great season with 21 top 10s, 14 top 5s, Nine stage wins, are you kidding me? Three race wins coming at Portland, Chicago, and Phoenix. Six poles coming at... Oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> Phoenix, Martinsville, Nashville, Chicago, Bristol, and Homestead. Two DNFs and 586 laps led. From Ladera Ranch, California, driving the double zero Haas Automation Ford for Stewart Haas Racing, make some noise for your 2023 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion, Cole Custer. Just like that, the Xfinity Series standings are now complete, ladies and gentlemen. I've got one final series to cover next week, and it's going to be the Cup Series. Hopefully it doesn't become a two-parter this time, just like last year, alright? But anyways, that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hey, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And also, if you guys are new here, just click on that notification bell and never, ever miss a single upload. Bye-bye, everybody. And until next time, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace!